Have you ever found yourself wondering if a narcissist is capable of loving anyone apart from themselves? Well, they may, but it's not genuine love in the true sense of the word. Once the narcissist has moved on from you, it'll be glaringly apparent in how they handle the relationship and, ultimately, how they treat you. The very intimacy that once flourished between you dissipates, replaced instead by an eerie and unsettling emptiness. Why is that? Intimacy, or the lack of it, is the root of the core issues they grapple with. Narcissists no longer fit into the natural libido everyone else experiences, leaving them to embrace anger, resentment, or hate. This may seem strange and unusual for anyone who hasn't drunk the narcissistic Kool-Aid. We all have a natural inclination to seek love, compassion, and empathy as we build healthy connections with each other. But for narcissists, manipulation and exploitation of those honest feelings is their joyous bread and butter. So, where did this all start? The unfortunate truth is that their heinous personality is their enduring armor to survive a traumatic past. This usually involves unpleasant incidents such as emotional neglect, abandonment, or even outright abuse. Have you ever noticed that a narcissist does their best to mimic your actions in the beginning stages of your relationship? It's almost as if they are mirroring you to lull you into a false sense of security and eventually take advantage of you. It's disconcerting because they can even copy the most peculiar and random parts of your life. Think about it. The quirks and preferences that come with individuality in a healthy relationship are present. But narcissists seem like cheap counterfeit versions of you that make you feel uneasy. They're like a reflection of you and even strange enough to call them your doppelganger. However, this barrage of intimacy is fleeting and soon the true colors of their personality come shining through like a red flag. Ever wondered why a narcissist can't form a real, meaningful connection with someone? It's because the wholesome, positive energy people get from love and affection is foreign to them, replaced instead by negative emotions like hate and anger. And once they see that the intimacy is gone, their rage intensifies, secure in their belief they have control over you. This is when the trauma bond gets dangerous, putting you in a position to question if the narcissist loved you at all. It feels like a never-ending nightmare, and it's tough to admit that it was all a lie. However, accepting that this person was incapable of real love and was pretending all along can help you avoid getting stuck in a dangerous cycle of unrequited love. As the narcissist is done with you, They've already moved on to another or are busy texting a few on the side. They seem to be on the hunt always, looking for their next fix. It's a toxic pattern that's entirely different from how normal people seek love and connection. It's tempting to label all narcissists as evil, but that kind of thinking doesn't help anyone. By doing so, we become no better than the narcissists who label others as bad people to justify their cruelty. It's critical to have a nuanced perspective. Perhaps we're searching for love in unhealthy ways or exhibiting codependent tendencies. This doesn't make us bad people, but it does demand that we take responsibility for our actions and put in the effort to improve ourselves. One of the most troubling things to accept is that our bond with the narcissist was never real. It's unnerving to admit that we were living a lie, but love blinds us to red flags. The only way to break free is through introspection, identifying why we got caught up in those toxic relationships. Putting in the work to better ourselves can lead us to authentic, healthy connections. It's so easy to point fingers at others and blame them for our problems. However, this is not the best way to live because it ultimately hurts us more than anyone else. Instead, we need to unflinchingly examine ourselves and identify the areas where we can improve. Only then can we put an end to the pattern of seeking out toxic relationships and pave the way towards the fulfilling life we deserve. In a nutshell, being in a relationship with a narcissist is one of the most confusing experiences one can ever have. It starts with them reflecting and mirroring you. And before you know it, you're convinced they are everything you've been looking for. But this beautiful illusion is short-lived, and eventually, the curtain falls on their emotional manipulation it's all too easy to point fingers at the narcissist. 
but that kind of thinking never helps anyone. If we want to overcome these cycles of toxic relationships, we must take responsibility for our actions, strive for self-improvement, and understand why we get entwined in these connections. Only then can we break free and find satisfying relationships that reciprocate our love and affection. Watch out for when your once beautiful love story turns bitter and ugly, and the narcissist seems to have completely washed their hands off you because by then, they're already entertaining other people. Always remember that you're not alone on this journey, and with the support of others and self-reflection, you can free yourself from the trauma bond and embark on the path to a fulfilling life. If you're watching this video, I'm guessing you're going through a tough time with someone who's pulling the strings in an unhealthy way. Know this, it's perfectly understandable to feel lost, confused, and powerless when dealing with these controlling, manipulative individuals. Believe it or not, I've been there. That's why I'm excited to offer you Narcissism 101, a free self-study course designed to help you cope with these challenging situations. Arm yourself with the basic shielding technique, which protects you from negative people such as narcissists and emotional vampires. Grab the download link in the description box below. Trust me, this content will fill you with immense value that will catapult you beyond the toxic grip of emotional manipulators. Now we're itching to hear your thoughts and experiences. Share your story in the comments section below. To stay updated on our channel's latest content, remember to subscribe and hit the bell button down below. Thanks for watching. You've got this.